Today our deconstruct project is going to be Federal Gold Medal Match 168 grain in 308 Winchester. I'm Chris Dover and welcome back to Clover Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at some 168 grain Federal Gold Medal Match in 308 Winchester. Federal Gold Medal Match is one of the most popular match ammunition for the 308 Winchester caliber. It's also one of the most expensive. <clears throat> so what we're going to do today is we're going to deconstruct this ammunition and take a look at the components. We're going to inspect those components and I'm going to give you uh, a general idea from there of how you might go if you wanted to try to hand load something that uh, was a duplicate as far as performance. So I've got one of the rounds here. This is what it looks like. Uh, pretty standard 308. It does use a boat tail uh, open tip match style hollow point projectile. That is not a, uh, a hunting or any type of a self-defense hollow point. It's not near big enough. It's got just enough uh, of a hollow cavity to help stabilize the projectile in flight. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get, going to give an overall measurement on this. I'm using my Hornady digital calipers today, but we will, uh, I like my dial calipers a whole lot better, but for our purposes here. And usually about uh, 2800 is where you would fall with a 308. As far as your uh, SAMI specs, your reloading specs. And you can see here we're right at that. We're actually at uh, 2800.5. And... That 0.5 is typically the difference between uh, just uh, regular stock ammunition and match ammunition. Uh, match ammunition tends to be loaded just a little bit, just that hair uh, longer. So I've got a round here that I have already pulled the projectile out of. And what I use is a collet style RCBS uh, bullet puller. They also make some kinetic uh, hammer type bullet pullers and I will link those down in the description for you guys if you want to take a look at at what those are so let's take this projectile let's do a couple of measurements on it let's get a projectile measurement here uh, lengthwise got about one Point one eight five there. And then let's grab it right above the uh, boat tail. We should be about three oh eight, obviously, and and we are, it looks like. 0085 but that is uh, not uncommon and certainly close enough so that's right on par <clears throat> now federal in their gold medal match uh, they use federal gold medal match brass obviously federal gold medal match primers obviously so when you're looking to duplicate you're going to have two concerns. First, it's going to be fairly easy to figure out. That is a projectile. Uh, second will be the powder. That's a little more difficult. We'll go into that here shortly. Remember, the length of this projectile was 1.185. And even though they look really close to the eye, always a good idea to check and see what you're getting with your calipers. This projectile is running right at 1.99. So, 
it's going to be very important that if you're loading these to achieve match grade, you pay particular attention to that overall length that was on the cartridge that we checked. Another thing let's do is let's go to the scale with these projectiles and let's check the weight. And we're going to start with, oops, we're going to start with the pull here. And it's weighing out at 167.9 and that's supposed to be 168 grain so it's right there uh, close. That one is going to be 167.7 so again right there close. One thing you'll pick up on especially with reloading the firearms world um, somewhere around five thousandths in tolerance um, most people deem acceptable of course when you're dealing with match ammunition you want to get those tolerances as tight as possible so now let's take a look at the powder that's in this case since we've got our scale set up and it's turned on and let's uh Let's just pour it in here and let's get a look. That's showing 43.6 grains of powder. And the gold metal match ammunition here uses a an extruded, I should say, powder. I don't know if you're able to see that, but extruded powders are little cylindrical pellets. See if I can get up a little closer. There's several different kinds of smokeless gunpowder. You've got uh, spherical or ball powder, and you've got flake, and then you've got these which are extruded. Now that we know some of the measurements and specifications of the 168 grain gold metal match, let's talk a little bit about possible duplication options. It goes without saying that if you're going to be reloading a box of gold metal match you bought you're already going to have the gold metal brass okay it's going to be recommended uh, that you shoot that ammunition in the same rifle and if you're doing that you're probably just going to want to keep that brass neck sized you're going to get a lot more loads if you just neck size that uh, that brass and as we talked about before it's obvious that the primer you're going to want it's going to be a Federal 210M. Uh, that's a gold metal match, large rifle primer. It's pretty obvious, uh, again, what projectiles they're using here, which are the Sierra Match Kings in 168 grain, 308 diameter, or 30 caliber. So really the only thing that you're going to have to play with is going to be powders. So long as you're getting this overall length consistent and maybe weighing your projectiles out and grouping them uh, in groups that are really, really close, if not the same, then really the, the powder is going to be the, the only variable you got to worry about. Now, a couple of powders that folks have uh, claimed to duplicate this with and by looking at the powders, they are definitely extruded powders. And they seem to perform okay. I never had any luck with them. Uh, is IMR 4064, IMR 3031, and IMR 4895. The one that I've had the best luck with, again, remember we're 43.6 grains here of this powder is the IMR 8208XBR and in this XBR I have been able to almost identically duplicate the accuracy results and consistency results of this Federal Gold Medal Premium um, with 43 grains of this 8208XBR so that's it for the deconstruction, inspection, and duplication information here on the 
308 Winchester 168 grain federal gold medal match. If you found this informative, we invite you to like, subscribe, and share. If you have any questions or if you want to discuss some of your load data, by all means, uh, comment below. For future video ideas, if there's some factory, commercial factory ammunition that we, you would like for us to deconstruct and inspect and try to duplicate, also uh, throw that down in the comments and we will keep a list going and try to get to those uh, as soon as we can. Till next time guys, we appreciate you watching. Stay safe.